Are you an entrepreneur? Are you brave enough to face the might of the Make You Moves charges? It's no use standing there and thumb sucking an answer. Mm. Work five hours a day. Yes. You're lazy. Have you taken samples to them? Uh, no, I'm, we haven't. I do feel a little bit disrespected, and that's why I'm, I'm a little bit angry. Is there any fuel on the business model leader? Do you want to pitch for 50,000 Rand cash injection into your business? The stage is set for you to be part of this amazing opportunity for young entrepreneurs. Your four minutes starts now. 8,000 Rand will make use of buying the mixer. How are you doing your mixing now with your honey if you're needing a mixer? Uh, using a hand with a spoon. Okay, it does, yes. so you'll be saving on time? Correct. And how much does the time relate into, into rands and cents? Uh, well, when it, come, when it comes to time, and that means your electric bill, electricity bill goes up. How are you using electricity when you're hand mixing? You, you have your lights on. You have your lights on in your factory when you're mixing. Right. So, basically... They play a pivotal role, particularly in farming and manufacturing industries. Bontelitemu, a primary cooperative in Winterfeld, founded by a group of young and ambitious farmers. Hello, my name is Garawu Papudi. And I'm Tato Mabonela. We're the co-founders of Bonjale Demo Primary Co-op. So we plant peanut seeds and peanut crops and manufacture them to peanut butter and roasted peanut snacks. What makes us unique is that our peanut butter is naturally made with cinnamon, with cinnamon and raw honey. And we produce our own peanuts. You can find us on Bonjale underscore Demo Twitter. Facebook is Wintelitemo and Gok Lili. Namjangisa Winterfield Tech Trail and Gasipitori, Lapon and Zabinkitaus, who knows my business, Sababil, Monagaba Party, a cooperative, a seven Zelago and Alinda Ole. The cooperative is young with two age, Ibuntelitim, Monagaba specialized and Gamak crown nuts, Futiba pin the Benz, E peanut part. So it's Kitaus who now. So Funogas Gabans, who will be a cooperative, he names a would be unique. Sipinders Funogas, who to seven Zabawenza, Bonagaba and Zelama Casmen Dab, and go by. Tell me a bit about the land and the place that we are standing on right now. Uh, this is one of the lands still listing from Dr. Sam Mutsonya, yes, where actually our primary production takes place. Yes, sir. What is your role in the business before Kalas Kulumango Gutie, Masses and Shang and Ugly Consortium Nenza? I'm a seed grower. Mm. Uh, you said the seeds and I'm in charge of everything which has to do with primary production. Yes, sir. When we have our, our, our contracted farmers, I have to go check up on them, get check the plants and someone if they're growing in a way. Yes, sir. All right, all right. I know you guys are Nankareke Kimutusi facilitator. Yabana Bana. Ubani naki leka ya ituta temo ke sale mocha ke ba thusa ka dikeletso gore ba kene timong ka mantwa mabedi le le go batsenya moya wa go tlhotlheletsa gore ba ba tswele pele because ke ona tsela eo batho ba bantsho re ka itswetsang pele ka yona e seng 
hore re emele hore ha re fetsa dithuto tsa rona ro sebetsa magoa so putom um ask me a bit about the process you get the nine years ago basically we plant mm. peanut seeds mm -hmm. and then uh, we harvest them, we procure them in our village seed bank, uh -huh. and then we sell them to local farmers uh -huh. where they actually grow the actual peanut. Uh -huh. And then we buy it back from the local farmers and uh -huh. put it in our processing unit and make peanut butter. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, this is where the peanut butter is made. This is our yeah, processing yeah. unit. Uh -huh. And this is my partner, Tato. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. What actually happens in here is that we start by deshelling our peanuts. Mm -hmm. And then uh -huh. And then uh, Tato will take you through the processing side and then I'll go for peanut butter. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think this is an is Tato. Right. Yes, um, ma'am. After sorting, after the ladies have sorted the peanuts, meaning that we sort the stems mm -hmm. from the peanuts, and then we take the peanuts, release it to that side to roast them. Yeah. So, this is Ngapam, which is Kuba, I guess, when I'm seven, 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 uh, it's five directors and founding members, mm -hmm. and we have two, I mean, four seasonal workers. Mm -hmm. Usually they sort out peanuts or they take the, the peanut shells out of the seed. Okay, you know, it's not one easy thing. I'm sure you're not interested in how to do it. If I'm doing, how did you guys source that? All right. Uh, you are not Dr. Sam Mutsonyani, Rural Development Foundation. Give one of my little baru to see the whole graph funds or ESCOM Foundation. Mm -hmm. So we got funds, and with those funds, we restarted to buy equipment that we need to process peanut butter and also the equipment for farming. Interesting name. <laughs> Come on, yes. and, uh, Lily, come. Wow, Cock Lily. Yeah. Um, Nervator product are uh, in like like African, hence, we're going to look at Gomu and it was very a basket in a lady peanuts. Mm -hmm. So, Lily is a flower and it represents uh, growth and prosperity, mm -hmm. especially the pink lily. So, that's that's how. And little coco, they are associated with being wise. For the Mahonya Gachele, like farming takes a lot of money, you know, buying equipment, uh, uh, waiting for your yield, you know, a hot yanak. By the time you've already produced, Chele, they increase it a mile. But I think your answer is ridiculous. Tato were both born and bred in Soshanguve. Although their paths only crossed in adulthood, they all have similar stories of losing loved ones at critical stages of their lives. Mdeni abe koku sana nat koku shela guti bona banga bantu abanjan futi yezi pige zintezenze eza kukula zimpilo zabo. Basically, my mother had cancer. She felt ill, she had like breast cancer. And then she, you know, went through mastectomy where she lost her breast. And then eventually, like the, prensa, the, the cancer spread out throughout the whole body and eventually went to the brain. That's when she was, she got into ICU and she was in a coma for like the longest time, maybe a month or so. 
I couldn't speak to her. I couldn't laugh with her. You know, we couldn't hold hands. So I'd already built up to losing my mother before it had actually really happened. You know, so by the time Molong Hor Mewaga Nasta I had I already went through that process. You know, so there was no need. There was no need for me Hor Ngala because uh, life already built me up for for for. Hey, Karabo Tabai in Ayamus Harapil, a lad has gum maha. Then not self. Eh, Pilaka about to come cum. Because he blew a maquitia got ampoluk. Can't a nagu will look ahead. Come Harry Fife. It's, I'm the fourth of the fifth, and then one of the sisters is late. I was able to get a camera, 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 but I was able to get a camera. I was able to get a camera, I was able to get a camera as well. And then we should always uh, be together. Come on, Lapeng. Ritusan, they got a lot of things that are going on. Ritusan, I got on. Nala Tato, we were both born in 1984. Ritusan, they got a lot of things that are friends. So we are, we are more than friends, we are family. She's always been there. She's like a sister to me. Karabo khutse e le ngwana o lokileng e bile rata skolo e le rata la ela family ne a ke tso le no vumbuka go ka e ke no makala motho a shu lo fesa dene na wa paradiso o di ke motho wa fa ma ha fa ka fa ma bona wa no e ya o tlisi si da brave and me my grandmother was not excited at all you know being but ba le ngwana ba be rekile go mashimo for the longest time go wa phelong a bona you know, they were, they were used as tools, you know, to work in, 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 in farms. So she never understood why, why would I choose this career path? Why don't I choose a job which puts me in an office and makes me wear a suit? 2015, that's when Gile uh, India go study Sako International Crops Research Institute for Semi-Arid Tropics. Uh, there were five mandatory crops you can study Katsona. We all had different topics. Zerka studied some Motsona, and I studied agroprocessing, Gadi peanuts. So we chose peanuts because they're familiar with Zona. Yo, now I got to explore. You know, I, I love exploring. I love, uh, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like to be conformed to one thing, you know. The world is so broad for you, who can we run to one who pillow about the boat? How to level to cook him on a horror or draw one or a tattoo shame, I see a tattoo on the bang. Who talk of a hapa, Pahong affected the Kahori in my first year go city. So it affected me uh, personally and also more academic year, but I managed, I managed that year. It wasn't uh, a peaceful moment because even the way I talk of it in Katin, she was hit by a bus. So it affected us. Tata, I'm thinking, uh, you know, a young girl, but with time, Kahila. Bunzale Temu has been operating for just over a year. However, they are still struggling when it comes to positioning their product on the market. Jenga manje ba zuba nojo ano nje beno peeps. La poko na ba zomje langa ma challenges aba pega ne na bogo business lab. Footige ba zomje langa zinye zinte lage aba na zozo guti business labo bangal tutugi saga njia. Ah, 
Uh, we've just arrived go making moves. Rasova na Pepsi. Rogu aga kwebari na le matapar level la na lo na. Well, naki guta keli a bit nervous and then kitu chile yana and then get ready as well wena. Naki guta kitu chile. Buntle Timo was established by a group of five young enthusiastic farmers specializing in ground nuts and the manufacturing of peanut butter. With the failure rate of cooperatives sitting at around 88%, I'm interested to find out what they are doing differently in order to make their joint venture a success. Karabo, Tato, Ligai? Uh -huh. So you guys are nut farmers. Yes. yes, Let, yes. Let's go straight into the hard, hard stuff. I get 88% yeah. of all cooperative businesses fail. Yes. And you guys are not looking too good at the moment. Um, so what are you going to do differently in order to avoid being one of the statistics? I think what we're doing a bit differently from other people is that everyone within the cooperative is involved in the day-to-day -day running of the business. So it's why every day through and go and do what exactly we have to do within the business. Teamwork, it play a major role within the business as well. And have a passion as well. Kina han robos cooperatives hor diskevedi di disk atsela pe liki hori adi na passion. So now we are passionate about what we're doing. Okay. All right, so let's talk about access to market. That seems to be your biggest problem, Honorad. The regis are locally, Mo Winterfeld, um, but the market is not big enough. So you're producing product and it's not getting beyond Winterfeld. And it's a quality product. It's a nice product, it's well made. It should be sitting uh, in shelves in other parts of the country outside of Winterfeld, even in the surrounding areas. Why is that not happening? Uh, I think the biggest challenge was uh, compliance. Compliance, we lay matter up, uh, you know, uh, money to test our product so that uh, the shop body can receive. Because we've, we've approached a lot of family stores, like your family owned pick and pace, your family owned spa, and they're very, very keen and interested on that. But the, the, the main problem is that we're not complying, so they can't take the risk. Okay. What do you have to do who are linear compliant? Our uh, tenants are recently products are on for product testing through SABS. Okay. So that we are not compliant and get into the formal market. Okay. How is it that you are It's because of lack of funds. That's also it's real. Okay. But you guys were granted uh, a million rand mm -hmm. by the Dr. Sam Munsunyani Foundation. Mm -hmm. So. None of that million rand has gone towards um, product testing and getting SABS approval. It sounds like a pretty fundamental thing to have done as part of the startup of the business. Uh, if you look at it this way, we are, we are producers. We started from the primary side of the, of, of the production. Like farming takes a lot of money, you know, buying equipment. Uh, uh, waiting for your yield, you know, hot uh, By the time you have already produced, chelte inchisete tamaile. But I think your answer is ridiculous. Okay. Okay, and I'll tell you why. Because le kadi lega okay, ready producer. You're not just producers. You're producers and sellers. Because yeah. hands are the producers among. In order to do what, le joja di natzo kaufel. Eh, pasona ri ri le enen kapele business yarona. It's not only about agro processing, kana. It's it's four in one. It's, it's producing co farming, it's also agro processing, and there's also wastewater, le marketing, kamhar. So, yes, our budget appeal, but the money is very kill for other businesses as well. Okay, recruits are wrong, no, no. Retroca, chalet, horrohono, test the products are wrong. And then, recane a formal market so that we have a stable market, the return for it, lahono, recane it's a chalet as well in the business. Le kupila man here, chalet. Uh, we've knocked the Kobo DTI, your rural development, your NYDA, your. Um, we even went tried going to the land bank. You know, we went as far, even like private companies going back to ESCOM Foundation. You know, we've we've tried a lot of uh, a lot of businesses. Because it's it's not possible, or Lega 
Eventually, you've got to start thinking, okay, there's something that we're not doing correctly. Uh, financial projections, I think, uh, that's one of the reasons why we have approached Yona Ekoli Bayo, an incubator, or assist in that. So they are also busy in helping us for the financial projections. Right. Okay. Let's, let's be entrepreneurial. Forget the funding. Okay. What can we do to increase market share even in the informal market? Yeah, we need a very aggressive marketing strategy. See if we can sit down and plan around that because uh, it looks like what our marketing strategy is not right now is not working that well enough, you know, for, because if, if, if it was, even the informal market would be receiving us, you know, or I think also, you know, schooling people about how your natural products look like, you know, because our peanut butter is quite different from CD, it's, 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 it's a natural product. So we are not like to uh, especially, uh, I'm sorry to say this, but then our black people, you know, I like to because we mostly received well, ke makhoa. So Rick said that How about to give us a reiki? Rick said that makhoa. I mean, you know what I mean? Ke market, the money is the same color. I can. So it doesn't matter. Do you understand what I mean? What's the one thing that you feel like you have to do? That you can do differently and begin implementing as soon as possible that's going to turn this business around? Okay, to spend money wisely. To spend money wisely? Yeah. Do you feel like you're spending money in the wrong places? Not really in the wrong places, but I think we need also to level the way we spend it. Okay, mm. that's a fair point. Abuti? I think uh, we need to wake up early in the morning and go sell peanut butter. Okay. Uh, sell the seeds to the farmers. So, so you agree you have to sell harder? Yes, we need to sell very hard. Okay, so manage the money better, sell harder. Yes. Mm. All right, guys, I'm hoping that the coaching session I'm going to send you for is going to help you articulate the plan okay. of right. how you can achieve that. Mm. So best of luck. Okay. You're doing something brilliant, and I really, really want to see you guys succeed. All right, thank you. Yeah. Bunteletimo produces a very good quality product which has got fantastic health benefits. I'm concerned about their marketing strategy or lack thereof and how they're positioning their products and their prospects for getting into the formal market. I'm sending them to a coaching session with Lerato Mujake and I hope together they'll come up with a plan to better their marketing strategy and hopefully gain better access to market. I think the interview was mind opening. You know, it made me realize some of the things still long hurry I've overlooked within my business. Buntalete must seem to have all the ingredients to succeed as a cooperative. They are dedicated and passionate group of farmers. Got to business. It sounds all good mm. to be in a formal market, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know. It, I know it looks good okay. to have your products in shops, etc. Mm -hmm. But have you guys calculated how much you are looking for in terms of being in the formal market? Uh, yeah, basically we've got a product, right? yeah. so it needs about thirty-three thousand rand for us to to, to 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 test it, okay, and about ten thousand rand to rebrand it, okay. Uh, one mm -hmm. So with access to market, more people can just frequently find your product at any given time. Yeah. Go shop, yeah. and you can have like a proper cash flow because yeah. how it is You know, yeah. and I mean constant money coming in into your business. Okay. That, that actually looks a bit better when you're going to Oya banking, Onyaka loan to increase your business. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, to expand your business. Whichever way you go, yes, there's a market. Mm -hmm. Yes. Whichever way, which yes, whichever way there is a market, but yeah. then the informal one is more unstable than okay. the formal one. So tell me more about that. Why are you saying it's unstable? What's uh, causing that? 
I mean, with, with the informal market, I mean, the, say for instance, you are at a farmer's market. You know, the farmer's market, but they'll constantly either find you on a Saturday. Yeah. And it's not every Saturday that people have money. Okay. Why I it's yeah. not every Saturday that people can drive to a formal, to a, to, to an informal market or a farmer's market. Yes. But then once you're in the informal market, I mean, we're not only looking at your grocery stores. Yes. We're looking at your, 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 your orphanages. We're looking at your prisons. We're looking at your school. Oh. Yeah. You see, once we tap into that market, yeah. right, or ne, more a, a cash flow, proper okay. cash flow, a long for it, but to bar, and we'll have a certain amount of money. So, what I'm hearing, guys, is that you guys are limiting yourselves. That's what I'm hearing. There are a lot of products that are on the roads currently, right now, mm -hmm. taxi ranks, etc., informal markets, mm -hmm. but those products they make the most money than in your formal stores. I mean, you look at brands like the Dragon, the energy drink. Mm. Where did it start from? Strati. Exactly, yeah. guys. It started from the streets. Then it moved into the bigger markets. And right now you can find it, go the peak and pace. So if you're trusted with little, mm -hmm. the bigger models are, will be much quicker for you to access. You want constant income. I want constant income. What's your target per, per day? Uh, my target a day it's about five thousand. You want to make five thousand rand yes. a day? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who's gonna Who's gonna buy five thousand rands of peanuts per day? It should be the people. Where? And why would they buy five thousand rands worth of peanuts every day? Coaching session was interesting. Uh, I, f I felt like we were just going around in circles and not really getting to where the issues are. I'd really much appreciate it if I was being grilled by somebody who was maybe had a farming background, you know. As much as he was, it came from a good place, I also wanted like maybe the Lerato to also come from the, 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 the background of the business that I'm from, I'm in. I, I don't know if you're familiar with the stats that you yeah. mind. Okay. Um, me. I mean, stock of money, it's a, it's a crop you know, which only grows once a year. Okay. You know, I mean, the more you withhold it, yeah. the more value it gains. Yes. Why you want Yes. Of which we understand that much all very good. Yeah. But then the more now we withhold it. What's your harvest season? Uh, my oh. harvest season is about, my harvest time is about a couple March, April. March, April. Yes, okay. which help, which sends me back about two months of secondary pr processing. Okay. And another month of tertiary processing yeah. into your roasted peanuts yeah. and your and your peanut butter. Yeah. So how am I supposed to sustain myself within yeah. there? You yeah. see, if I had like a formal market, yeah. like, a, like a formal market, I'd probably have money up front before the product I got eight. Okay. Which gives me more time to produce. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Is there an alternative way mm -hmm. to test the product without paying for it? Oh, we've tried that. Yeah. Well, we, we, we've actually written a letter to the subs. Yeah. We are an emerging yeah. uh, young farmers. Yeah. Besides that, yeah. who actually does the testing? Uh, CSIR, your yeah. uh, bita uh, Bio, okay. which is supposed to assist us with that. Okay. Um, yeah. And who does that work? Who does the work? Uh, food technologist. Yeah. I mean, we've also approached like your 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 your, your institutions, your yeah. Twana University of Technology, okay. yeah. your vets. We've approached the students, or yeah. hey, but now we've got a product. Yeah. Help it us is. out. Yeah. And what was the response? Then? Mm. But to banya Okay. <laughs> and was it still the thirty-three thousand uh, with the students? No, but then but to banya kachile. It's yeah. slightly lesser, but then yeah. still the basanya kachile. Yeah. You know. Okay. Guys, looking at your your financials, you guys have money. You guys are making money. You're just irresponsible. And I think you said it earlier on, saying that mm -hmm. you guys spend some money from your bank account into things that are not supposed to be spent on, that are non-business related. I can't say not, I agree with her. Not non-business related. Guys, we've studied your, 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 your numbers and, and these things that are not right there. And I okay. think you guys know it. I'm not going to do an audit with you guys here, All right. but I'm saying there is some money that you guys can put aside. Yes. You know, to work towards the 33,000 rand, there is money. Mm. Thank you for your time and thank you for coming through. All right, thank you. Okay. Welcome back to Making Moves. Nizo Picha. This is Wanja. Uh, I'm a bit nervous, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get the city butterfly, come around, come around. Yeah, same here. 
Aye, if it's a little bit, as you can see, now my church is ready. My tattoo, Balin Denina, all the best man can have a That way too. Thank you. For you too. Sure. Aye, Ninga Shona. Welcome back to Making Moves. Thank are you. Are you guys ready to pitch your business? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay, so you've got four minutes to present your business to us. Tell us why you should walk away with 50,000 Rand and get into the next round of the competition. And your four minutes starts now. Um, food security is a very vital situation in South Africa, and actually in the entire world. Um, a, world, a world which cannot feed itself, it's a world which cannot take care of itself. Um, my name is Garabo, and I'm a co-founder and director of Bunta Letemo. What I basically do in Bunta Letemo, I'm a primary producer of seed and also bank the seed. I believe that food processing holds a nutritional value and our product is farm-based and goes from a consumer from the farm to the consumer. And I believe that food security can also hold nutritional value into the Buntlelitimo Private Cooperative. My name is Tato Mabanela and I'm the co-founder and director of Buntlelitimo. What I do is I'm a tertiary producer processing peanuts into peanut butter and roasted peanut snacks. What makes us unique is that our peanut butter doesn't contain any preservatives and no additives. And we also roast peanut snacks, which also have uh, flavors. That is the barbecue and the chili flavor. With 50,000 rent, we want to use 33,000 rent to test our peanut butter product. And uh, 8,000 rent will make use of buying the mixer to mix the peanut butter with our or honey, and also cinnamon. And then uh, 10,000 rent will make use to develop our pro our labeling and also put on a lot of information there for the consumers to understand our product, our natural product, peanut butter. Our marketing strategy is basically basically simply like this: we will target uh, informal informal market informal markets like your 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 your, your farmers your farmers markets your 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 food lovers markets, your your social ground pay points, your health and fitness centers, your um, uh, your uh, family owned grocery stores. Um, we also want to educate uh, people about the benefits of natural products, natural peanut butter, and how it can actually su sustain households without actually uh, spending money on so much food like your meat and your and your highly consumed uh, processed meat. Our peanut butter is a natural uh, product. It can be used as a spread for bread and it can also be used in cooking. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys still have about a minute. Are you done? Yes. All right, we'll jump straight into a question and answer. What are the specific project products that you guys produce? Uh, from we start from primary production, we produce seeds, of which we sell to farmers, and then retrieve them back to actually feed our processing unit. So, oh no, no, hang on. You buy the same seeds back from the farmers? We buy the, the peanut, the actual crop, from the farmers. So they go and they, they plant grow them, yes. your seeds, and then they sell you back the finished, the, 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 the raw the product? Yes, the raw okay, product. Okay, and then? And then we actually, um, there's also secondary processing, where you, have to, you, have to, where you actually have to clean the seeds where you get shells. The shells are used to actually sell for livestock. They are used, they're processed to be sold as livestock, as livestock feed. And then we process the peanut, the peanuts, the actual peanuts, into the peanut butter and your roasted peanuts. Those peanut sorts. butter, roasted peanuts, and what else? Yeah, that's about that's it. it. Your 33,000 rand that you're gonna be spending on testing, yes. how's that gonna relate to a return on investment? Um, basically, we've managed to sell product which were up to about 30,000 rand. So we have, we have 30,000 rand of which we've managed to sell product with. So I believe if we can 
test our product and certify like for consumers to know that if you have an allergy it can it can specifically be labeled on, on 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 the peanut butter so that it doesn't it doesn't retain it doesn't come back to my business and shut it all down you know so if i can test my product and make sure that uh, consumers know what they're eating uh, that will be also protecting my business in the long run how are you doing your mixing now with your honey if you're needing a mixer? Uh, using a hand with a spoon. Okay, it does, yes. so you'll be saving on time? Correct. And how much does the time relate into, into rents and cents? Uh, well, when it, com when it comes to time, and that means your electri bill, electricity bill goes up, you know, because you spend more time in the factory. But you're hand mixing. Excuse me? How, how are you using electricity when you're hand mixing? You, you have your lights on. You have your lights on in your factory when you're mixing. Hmm. Right. So basically... But, so, but the machine uses electricity. <laughs> yes. So it's, the net effect is going to be the same. Well, if our factory, I mean, whilst you're in the factory, every other machine is also running. So when you're mixing, you're actually working a bit more faster and saving on your electricity. Well, not really, but I'm not going to argue yeah. that with yeah. you. Okay. Uh, and, and at the moment, you haven't been able to answer Martine's question about that time. In fact, she asked two questions, mm -hmm. and you didn't answer either one of them. The SABS certification yes. and the testing, how are you going to get a return on investment on that? Okay, when, when my product is certified, I can actually put it into the formal market. Your, your people will be able to find it wherever, conveniently, at any, at any time, you know. Rather than me selling in informal markets, your farmers markets, I have to wait to, for a Saturday for them to open. I have so you're changing your pitch then? Mm. You, you're changing your pitch? My current focus is the informal market, right? Because my, my product is not compliant, it's not tested yet. So I must focus there. So once my, my product is tested, I can tap into both those markets. You didn't tell us that. But anyway, you're telling us now. Okay. You didn't share that in your pitch. You said my focus is informal markets, farmers markets, social grant pay points, etc. I'm just clarifying, clarifying for you. I, I still want to know on the return of investment. You okay. haven't answered that question yet. I think it's a vital question. Mm -hmm. uh, return on investment. Yeah. I'm saying if when my product is tested, right? I understand the labeling and yes. I understand the testing. Mm -hmm. Yes. What then? Them, I mean, people will be able to find it at any time. That means they can buy it in most places. But what does it look like in terms of numbers? Uh, in terms of numbers, right now we are processing about uh, two tons of peanuts, which of, of peanuts into peanut butter, which uh, which calculates to about eighty-five thousand rand a month. At eighty-five thousand rand pro produced in twenty-two days, input production, which is about twenty-five thousand rand, which gives the profit of about forty-five thousand rand. On peanuts, I'm processing about one ton, which gives me about. 67,000 rand with input production of 18,000 rand. In a month, with, when I mix up all my, 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 both my peanut butter and my roasted peanuts, they, give, they calculate it to about 98,000 rand a year, which is about 1.1 million rand of profit. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, we're going to deliberate, so please leave the room so we can talk and we'll call you back in a few minutes. Thank you. Uh, uh, what I would have liked to include go pitching Arona is Tavaya uh, farming. Also, it uh, it takes about 150 days. Go farmer as well. So it's uh, product Arona. The raw material, it's not readily available. All right, guys, deliberation time. Martin, what are your thoughts? There's a massive market for nature source organic products like these. It is huge. I just don't believe that this entrepreneur knows his numbers, number one. And number two, he hasn't done enough research in his industry. I would love to know what sells here. <laughs> What's really selling here? Is it the peanuts or the peanut mm. butter? Okay. Yeah, and if it's the peanut butter, mm. then maybe they focus on that rather than mm than trying to produce the whole cycle, mm. um, the end-to-end -end process. Maybe they should just focus on the peanut butter. For me, it feels like they want to spend their money on the right things. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. I mean, the, 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 the certification is critical, whether you're selling in an informal market right. or whether you're selling off a shelf in, in, you know, in one of the, the big um, 
stores, or but it's critical that they do that. Mm -hmm. um, I just don't think that they're understanding how that's going to relate into their business and how they're going to maximize that spend on the marketing side of things. So now we've got our certification. What are we going to do now? Now he wants to go into the formal market the formal market, mm -hmm. um, which I believe they currently should be maximizing where they are with certification. Yeah. You know, when it comes to certification, I would I would even say the 50,000 rand should just go on towards mm -hmm. the certification mm -hmm. because there's also processes before the certification that they need to follow. Absolutely. Um, so are you saying, are you saying 33,000 is not enough? I don't think it's enough. For certification? No. You still need consultants to come in. Yeah. Okay. You still need process engineers to come in. Yeah. yeah. Um, to understand So what process. are the things they said, which yeah. I really liked, yeah. is they've got 30,000. Yes. Now. Yeah. So they want First a 50,000 mm. top up. Yeah. And that will take them all yeah. the way. Sure. Yeah. I, I don't, I, I don't want to discourage them yeah. from going into the retail space, yeah. the big retail space. But they don't need to mm -hmm. if they do proper research to oh, see where listen, this fits I mean, in. Forget them not needing to. I fully support them going into the formal market. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great idea. I think if they want to scale up their business, mm -hmm. that's where they need to be. They're just not ready. So they need to go and find people that are not health stores health stores people that are not veg, price yeah. sensitive yeah. and they need to find a higher LSM market that's, that's it that's yeah it. so need retail but but specified retail yeah okay yeah that is that's that is talking to to what the service offering is so research yeah okay all right let's bring them back in Tato and Karabo, welcome back. Thank you. How do you guys think you did in your pitch on a scale of 1 to 10? On a scale of 1 to 10, I think uh, 7. 7? Yeah. Okay, I don't know if I agree, but okay. All right. All right, so we're going to start off with some comments and then we're going to give you some tasks that we think will benefit your business. All right. You've mm. got 30,000 that you've been able to put away. And I know you're not making a lot of money, but mm. the fact that you've put something away and reinvest it in the business at a great personal cost to yourself is fantastic. From a perspective of development, you're not doing enough research, guys. You're not understanding where your product fits in. It does not fit in with the off-the-shelf products. You have a very niche product and there's high demand for your product. And I'm not convinced that you guys have researched enough to see where you're going to be ending up or where you want to position your product. It's not at the social grant station. Guys, for me, um, I'm in total agreement. I think it's quite admirable for you guys to come forth and say you have put forth a specific amount of money that you've saved. Um, it, shows, it shows character, mm. it shows discipline. Mm. And I think for me, I appreciate that. I think you should be selling a lot more. I think there are too many of you farming mm -hmm. and not enough selling. Your biggest problem is not product. You've got product, you've got capacity, you've got input, you don't have market. So the bulk of your energy should be dedicated to finding market for your product. Um, you're speaking about selling to formal markets, informal markets, and there's really no stats around it. We have no idea What's the total addressable market? Is it 10 million? Is it 15 billion? How you big know? is the peanut butter market? The peanut, I mean, South Africa produces, produces about 26.7, 26 million tons, of which 37% 37, 37 of it is consumed as peanut butter. peanut butter, yes. Okay. Which of your two products make money, the peanuts or the peanut butter? And why are you focusing on both? There's different standards of peanuts that you can use. You can use your splits for to sell as roasted peanuts. So you must also use your waste product to make something of which your splits are made for peanut butter and your full peanuts are made for your roasted peanuts. Both of them must work. So are the roasted peanuts profitable? Are you selling a lot of roasted peanuts? You, not that much, not that much. Okay. Kitloreka peanut butter. There's black cat on this side. How much is black cat? 27 rand. 27 rand. Yeah. Okay, how much is your 
It's 30 rand. Eh? 30 rand. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to give you some tasks. The first task from me is around research. Uh, we've all spoken to it. You need to go and do research. You need to go and research. Find out where your market is. Find out all the potential places where you could be selling. Just, you know, go find out. Go find out the prices of all peanut butters on the market. You, you need to go do more research so that you can improve your go-to-market strategy. Yeah. The second thing is go and see an advertising agency. Um, research again, advertising agencies that are offering pro bono services to SMMEs. There's quite a few of, of the, the bigger agencies that will do that. Go and knock on their doors and come and show us how you have negotiated with them to sit with you in your advertising and marketing strategy so that you can, you can peg your, your product in the right place. So do you understand that? You're asking them to help you develop an advertising and marketing strategy and if you can convince them to help you create material and branding and whatnot, that would be great. And don't go to one. I think the third point, pair what has just been said now with an accountant. <clears throat> Sit down as an accountant to cost your products. Okay. Already 30 Rand is quite scary for me. <laughs> if this is quite premium, because it is a premium mm. yeah. product. You know, We've heard before that... Uh, and your research is going to inform that. Yeah. It's going to let you know that your product is actually premium. Correct. And I buy organic peanut butter, so I know what the price is. So 30 Rand is a bit shocking. Okay. Martin, what happens with these young people? <sighs> Guys, it's been a tough decision. And we are welcoming, welcoming you back to the next round. Oh. <laughs> All right, so well done. You've got a few weeks to do your tasks. Congratulations. We'll see you in a few weeks. Hopefully, yeah. you have done the things that we're asking you to do. Uh, and you progress even further. Thank you. Thank you. Well Thank you. done. All right. I'm so excited about the tasks. Especially when it comes to the marketing side, uh, we've been focusing mostly on, on, on producing rather than And at the end of the day, it's useless who radio if it's almost got uh, Apart from the tasks, Ntokito Yetzang immediately is to look into uh, market warona and then how can we grow from there? Like, it, it's very serious. As, as Karabo said, we cannot produce and not sell. If you are an entrepreneur and would like to be featured on the show, contact us on makingmoves at sabc.co.za or visit our website, 